inspires you? I mean, in the rescue world, Melissa inspires me, like 100%. She was one of the main reasons why we have continued to stay with her or her passion for, you know, this is amazing. Um, her willingness to help. She doesn't think shit from anybody. <laughs> You know, and I love that about her. Well, she, um, she cares about the foster personal dogs yes. as well. Yeah. Yes. You know, making sure that they're up to date on their shots before we bring an animal home. That to me was a big, yeah. big indicator. We've worked with other rescues, and um, this by far is is our favorite. Which is why we say the passion here for the love of all of the animals, um, and like you said, including like all of the personal ones. There are a lot of things that inspire me. The biggest inspiration has to be my own dolls, though. They each have a different story, but I know that if they were back at the shelter, raised in the shelter, in and out of the shelter, like so many of these dogs are, they wouldn't make it either. And they're amazing dogs in my home. Seeing their potential and seeing that these dogs can blossom in the right home. Um, what is your proudest moment in rescue? I think my proudest moment is probably one of my most challenging moments too. A dog named Max with Mega Esophagus. Looking back now, I honestly don't know how I did that. It was like having an infant, you know, feeding three times a day in a special chair, special food, and all the while just the emotional toll of having this senior dog that was not well. It was hard. He gained 10 pounds when I had him in my care. I knew, okay, I'm doing something right. Long, long days and long nights, but just seeing him romp around the yard and play with play with toys and, you know, get his energy back. And he ended up getting adopted. Looking back, I mean, it's just like, wow. It was such a short period. It was from like February to May. It was so amazing to see. The proudest moment in rescue would be letting everybody in the rescue know that we're always there for them. Animals, people, if anybody needs us to transport or whatever it is, we always make sure we're there. Because of the animals, it's, like I said, we're a family. My proudest moment, and it's kind of repetitive, mm -hmm. to be very honest, it's when you take that dog or dogs or puppies that are sick, and it's kind of just knowing that they went on to their forever home and they're so loved and so well taken care of and people just adore them. They went from sick to loved sleeping on a bed. So I'm proud of the fact that I don't care about the recognition. I care about the help. I care about the dogs. I care and that's the thing is I'm willing to kind of even get out of my comfort zone just to do it for them. What is your inkling of your life purpose? Inkling of my life purpose? You know what, there's a Robin Williams quote that I love. You know, I don't really know what my life purpose is, but if I, in even some small way, was able to make someone else's life a little bit better, better then that's, that's what I want with my life. Like, that's what I want to have to say about my life. You know, I feel like for a long time, even when I was a kid, I was always that kid that like, Ask the teacher if they needed help with anything, or ask the little lady, old lady next door if she needed help with like her groceries or whatever. I just always wanted to help people, or um, you know, now animals. And so, yeah, I think it's just trying to make life better in general. What is your inkling of your life purpose? My inkling of my life purpose is to care for animals that other people don't want to care for, <laughs> which is why I'm here. <laughs> so why should you give to Fort Worth Man and Animal Alliance? Our organization is an advocate for the animals, whether it's medical, hospice, an amputation like my poor Mac. <laughs> Melissa is very passionate about advocating for the animals. Forget all the nonsense, we're about the animals. <laughs> I love being with Fort Worth Man and Animal Alliance for the fact that we get to really put our heart into these animals, pull the major medicals, we pull the ones that need more than anything. You know, you can walk into a shelter and, and pick up any dog, but the ones that are in the back that you never see, they're the ones that you love the most. And I, I love that we get a chance to take care of them and get them healthy and get them adoptable. My 
opinion on why you should give money to Fort Worth Band and the Alliance is it's our mission, it's what we do, it's the level of care that we provide to our dogs, our cats, our pigs, the chickens I think we've had. Melissa doesn't care about what is in need, who's in need. We've had fosters in need before, we've had the public in need before. We do it all and that's why I love this group. It's why I give money personally to this group. It's why I've had my work do matching donations to this group. I don't know of another group that does what Fort Worth Abandon does. I've never seen it, I've never heard of it, and it's why I will stick here for as long as I can. Favorite rescue family memory? That was, that was, was shortly after Melissa's birthday. It was just like we came in and we took like nine dogs, I think, that day. That was that was a bunch of dogs. That was like my favorite day. I was like, oh, look at all these dogs. I was like, I don't think any of us knew the other was up there, and it was just like Savannah. Like, <laughs> yeah. hey. Or my little birthday.